congratulations on the film. Thank you. This is really exciting, really exciting. I mean, this is a huge undertaking, I think, because of what Captain America represents for all of the fans and for so long. Sure. Uh, was that, did you feel that pressure? Yeah, I feel it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, that was part of the apprehension about jumping on board to a movie like this. There are just such high expectations, mm -hmm. and it's always nice. Um, I, you know, it's it's one. It's a big gamble. It's one of those things where you say, "Listen, do I want to do something that if it wins, wins big? Right. But if it loses, loses big. Uh, that's that's a scary thing to try and tackle. There was a certain kind of um, uh, obviously like an etiquette and, and and an expectation that comes from the comic books. But you know, we had we had license to to sort of uh, give our own unique creative interpretations with the characters in the story and, and obviously Marvel saw it a very specific way and then we just did our best to cater to that. I will say I thought I thought the the, the costume was dope. Like there yeah. was no leotard to it. There was no like mm. Spandex, I was like, that looks pretty badass. Yeah, it had a very, you know, utilitarian feel to it. It felt like it had a function, uh, which was nice. It, it didn't seem, you know, you are dressing up in a costume every right. day, so it's easy to feel silly, but this always felt like, you know, I might wear this in war. This, <laughs> this actually might serve a purpose. Yeah. yeah. I love also that this was a period piece, which must have been so exciting for you. Yes, it was. I've done period pieces before, mm -hmm. so it's like, oh, brilliant, action film, fabulous, something different. Went, no, it's another period piece. Another period piece. Yeah, it's very stylish. It's very... I love the, the look of it, uh -huh. and um, you know, kind of the, the costumes were incredible. We had a, a wonderful costume designer who'd done the work work on Schindler's List and Inglorious Bastards, mm -hmm. and was very, um, you know, well versed in, in that whole kind of era. I, I mean, I certainly grew up with movies from that era. I mean, I certainly idolized people from that era. So I just sort of feel like, you know, yeah, just you just all around think you, you just look really badass and, pretty, and feel pretty cool walking around that uniform. You must have known about Chris before and his super hot body. Y yeah, <laughs> I mean, it, but it was particularly super hot for this film and this particular training. Um, it, I mean, and the first time I saw it was that scene where he is exposed and I just was in, in complete shock. And uh, so they obviously used it where I kind of reach out for his man boob. Um, <laughs> yeah, she gave a little impromptu boob squeeze. She did. And I was like, oh, excuse me. I've never actually seen a body like that up close. It was like I was at a museum or something. It didn't look real. And you got to touch his man boob. I did, and it's real. I hear he's quite the, the man's man, the boy's boy. He likes to hang out with the boys and drink some beer and hang, just watch football. Like, he's the guy's guy. Yeah, but he also tap dances, so... I'm like, I didn't have to reveal that. I do tap dance, yeah. Where did that come from? My mother. She's killing me. He's an all-rounder. I think he can he can handle anyone. He can hang out with, you know, guys, gals. I think he's got a he's a very balanced soul. Yeah. 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 He tap he's a good, dances. He dances. He's a great musician. He's a singer. And uh, he's got great man boobs. Yeah, great moves. <laughs> <laughs>